I'm Maggie Reardon with CNET News, and I'm here in Baltimore where Sprint has just launched its new WiMAX Zone network. Now, what is WiMAX? Well, WiMAX is a 4G wireless broadband technology. And let me tell you, if you thought that surfing the web on a 3G wireless device like this was fast, well, you haven't seen anything yet. WiMAX is going to be much faster. It's going to give you about one to two megabits per second worth of download, which is really fast. We're here in Baltimore, the very first city where Sprint has launched its network. And uh, the reason Baltimore, well, if you look around, it's a very challenging radio frequency kind of environment and you've got water all around us, we've got brick buildings and that was something that the, the engineers said that they really wanted to take a look at. So I wanted somewhere that was challenging for the engineers and my engineers will tell you this city is challenging. Sprint has a few of its technology partners here, Intel and Nokia, so let's go take a look at what they have. We're here at one of the product demos and they've got a whole bunch of products here. We've got some of the laptops with the embedded WiMAX chips. There's also the Zome internet modem for the, the home. And we've got uh, the Nokia N810 internet tablet. And it looks like they're streaming some video. I'm going to take a look. Yeah, it's, it's some video from last night's debate. We've got Tom Brokaw. Ooh, look at that. Barack Obama looks really good. John McCain, too. This is good stuff. I'm here with Sriram Viswanathan of Intel, and he's going to show us, driving around the city of Baltimore, how WiMAX really works. He's going to show us some applications here. So, what are we doing? Are we looking at some video here? Yeah, I'm actually on a on a YouTube play, uh, page, and I'm actually in the car in the back seat, and I'm not connected to anything, and I'm actually playing the video. Uh, it, you know, the American Nobel Prize was announced, and here's the video that's actually being played. Um, and you know, real time, and I could actually have multiple video windows because the uh, bandwidth that I'm actually getting in the car is well in excess of uh, you know five megabits. It's actually a downstream bandwidth of 7.7 .7 megabits per second, and upstream bandwidth of 2.2 .2 megabits per second. And we're we're in a car riding around the city. Um, you've got a laptop here. I, I mean. Do you really envision, I, I hope people aren't going to be watching no. video on their laptop while no, they're driving, but, but what are some of the applications that we could, I mean, could we see this embedded in cars or, yeah. or would people, would that be uh, something that people would want to do? Yeah, I think, you know, it's actually a very good point. You know, we don't envision uh, people actually sitting in the you know, front of a car using their laptops, but what it does is that it opens up the possibility for your, your car or your mobile environment to be connected all the time. We're here in the Sprint Nextel Zome demo home in Baltimore, and we've got two devices. We've got an iPhone 3G and the Nokia N810, both internet wireless devices. And we're gonna take a look to see which one actually loads up our favorite web page fastest. We're off to the races. Looks like the iPhone 3G won. I'm not sure if it's a network or the device. Video is definitely the killer app when it comes to WiMAX, but how much is it gonna cost you? Well, if you use it just at home, it's gonna be $35 a month, and if you want a mobile version, it'll be $45 a month. And if you just happen to be in Baltimore for the day, you can get it for 10 bucks. I'm not sure if consumers are really gonna bite at that price, but the technology is pretty cool. This is Maggie Reardon at CNET News.